What's up everyone, Shannon here. I'm going to teach you how to export high quality vector graphics from Adobe Illustrator to use for print if you're ordering t-shirts of your logo or any other design that you've made. If you are a current subscriber, thank you for being here and all of your support, you guys rock. And if not, hit subscribe and be notified of new tutorials and videos that I post. All right. Rule of thumb, use Illustrator for logos and designs if you're going to be printing because Illustrator produces vector graphics. What that means is the shapes don't pixelate like you'd get from a design in Photoshop. Now, I'm not picking on Photoshop. Photoshop is excellent. I use Photoshop. It's just because if you're printing, you want that nice clean line vector illustration maintaining uh, that integrity and that resolution of your design. So you can print a design from Illustrator on a billboard, or you can print it on a post-it note and it'd be the same. Uh, it doesn't stretch, vectors don't stretch, stretch, stretch out and get all pixelated and, and whatnot. So it, they look good. That's what you want to use. So I have my logo variations here for my video production company and I wanna use this design to print on a t-shirt. I need to export the artboard that contains the design that I want. So I'm going to highlight it by hitting Shift O and I see that it's Artboard 5. I'm going to click File, Save As, PDF. Now, a PDF of this design will be high resolution in order to print the design without the pixelation or blurriness, and it's also small enough to transfer the file over email or place it in cloud storage, so it's usually my go-to. You can always export this as an AI file or an EPS file. What this does is another designer can go in, open this file, see all of your layers, they can edit it. So this can work as well, but if your printer doesn't necessarily need the raw version of the file, a PDF will work. Next, we need to specify what artboards we want to save. So we can actually export every version of every artboard here in my master file. Um, or we can just export a single artboard, and that's what I'm going to do. So mine is artboard five, and hit save. And now we can add this design to a t-shirt editor and printer like Custom Ink or Vistaprint. And there it is, it looks great. If you liked this video, be sure to like or comment and comment, do both. Let me know what other tutorials you'd like to see. Check out my course on Udemy and learn how to edit videos in Adobe Premiere along with me. And if you haven't yet, hit subscribe and be notified when I release new tutorials. Thanks for watching.